everyone, welcome to the Rap Studios. I'm Beatrice Verhoeven, and today we have Silicon Valley Zach Woods here, who plays Jared, Donald, and OJ. Um, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what we can expect on Sunday when season three of the show returns? Sure. Uh, at the end of season two, Richard has been removed unceremoniously as the CEO of Pipe Piper, the company he created, and season three sort of follows his attempt to claw his way back to control of his own company. It's going to be a lot of Game of Thrones crossover in the first oh, really? episode, yeah. Wow, that'll, that'll be great. Yeah, yeah. Just, I, there's a scene where I walk naked and everyone just yells, shame, shame. Again. Shame, yeah, yeah, shame, yeah. yeah. And so can we expect, you know, another uh, Jared versus self-driving car rematch? Uh, you know, I, I, spoiler, spoiler alert, no self-driving cars this season, but equally formidable opponents, technical. Really? In, other words. in the first episode, there's a, like a, a, a robotic beast that uh, Erla gets in a fight with. And so season two, um, we had a lot more women on the show. And was that kind of like a direct response to, you know, the criticism the show faced sure. um, in season one when people were saying, you know, there's l like very little women in the show, and then Carrie Kemper kind of addressed it. Uh, Mike Judge and Alec Berg were aware that the, the, the show could, would benefit from more women, not just because of the criticism the show got, but because it would, you know, just be different in terms of the character and the, the, the dynamic. Women are grossly underrepresented in the actual right. uh, world of Silicon Valley. Days. Like, there's a shot in the show where the camera pans over a crowd at TechCrunch, which is like this big tech conference. And uh, a friend of one of the show creators called him up and was like, you know, that shot was ridiculous. There's, there's, there were no women in that shot. Like, how do you account for that? And he was like, that was real footage from the real TechCrunch. We didn't set up that oh. shot. So I think it's a tricky thing to strike where you don't want to you want to portray the actual disparity, but also not keep women out of the show. So this is something you guys actually saw when you, you know, were going to Silicon Valley and like doing it. Definitely. Researching. I mean, yeah, anyone, like if you go to Silicon Valley, it's, it's you know, women are underrepresented. Right. And there's a lot of, com thankfully, there's a lot of conversation about that, not just as it pertains to our show, but as it pertains to the industry, mm -hmm. which is, I think, even more important. You starred in Other People, um, oh, yeah. which had its debut at Sundance, yeah. right? Um, and. You know, there were certain walkouts. I did. I've never done a sex scene before in a film, and this was the first one I'd ever done. And it was between me and Jesse Plemons, who I'm like a big fan of. And it's it's not even that graphic. I was so perplexed when I heard people walked out. It may be that just the sight of my nude torso was so <laughs> uh, jarring to people that they just need to go home and have a long, quiet think about what they'd seen. Right, that's probably uh, what happened. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe some people are uncomfortable with gay sex or something. Yeah. But it was fairly tame. Like, when we shot it, there wasn't, like, a lot of highly graphic <laughs> stuff. So I don't know, maybe people are like like a little homophobic or maybe they just didn't like it or or maybe they were so overwhelmed with desire at the sight of us nude that they had to leave. I mean, I think that's probably, right. now that I think about it, it's probably that. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us and we'll look forward to seeing you on Sunday when the show uh, returns for its third season on HBO.